Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood from Sunset Stitches. Welcome to the DVD video guide for Artistic Sewing Suite. My objective in producing this DVD video guide is to provide you with as much information as I possibly can so that you'll be able to start enjoying your software quickly and achieve successful results in your embroidery projects. I'm going to produce the DVD video guide in several smaller sections starting with this one where I'm going to overview the software and introduce you to the different elements of Artistic Sewing Suite. I'm also going to produce a quick start guide that you'll be able to watch and learn quickly the most important and general functions of the software. Then I'll take a more in-depth look at all of the different features, tools, drop-down menus that are available in the Artistic Sewing Suite package. So I really hope that you enjoy the DVD video guide and if you're ready to start learning then let's get started. Let's start by looking at the contents of the Artistic Sewing Suite package. In general you've got three things. The special cutting needles that also come with a specialized ruler and then we have the software. And the software is broken down into two different pieces of software that each work together and complement each other. Uh, the main piece of software I would call the Creative Draw Wings. And this is basically an art-based embroidery software. It will allow you to create your own designs, um, import drawings, and convert the artwork into stitches. So most of your um, creating and sort of layout work is going to be done in the Creative Drawings program and that's the one that you're seeing here on the screen now uh, but just tucked in behind it here is another piece of software that's called wings modular and with wings modular it's a little bit more of a stitch based embroidery software and this is where you're going to be able to make some sort of finalization edits to some of the stitch files that you have as well as this is where you'll be able to add those very important uh, venere cut steps for doing the cutwork embroidery designs. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to come back and I'm going to go through the desktop for both Wings Modular and Creative Drawings and just highlight all of the different things that you find on the workspace in those two programs. In this segment I'm going to overview all of the tools and features that are available in the Creative Drawings workspace. So what I'll do is just pop over to the software and take a closer look. And now what I'm going to do is show you first off the drop-down menus. So when you click on the drop-down menus at the top, you'll see that there are several other um, options available under them. And so these are the tools and features that are found under the Edit drop-down menu, View, Tools, window and help menu and most of the tools that are found under those menus especially the most common ones are also found on the toolbars on the desktop so this is I'll start with this toolbar here it's got some of the most standard tools like new open save print copy paste undo redo this is how you can set and manage your fabric options this is how you can set and manage your color palette and your embroidery hoops. This is a zoom tool I can use to quickly zoom in to a special zoom uh, distance if I want to. You also have um, some editing tools like weld, trim, and intersect. Now the next tool here is called the help tool and this can be very helpful especially when you're first learning. I'm going to click to turn it on and you'll notice right away when I turn it on that I get a little question mark beside my cursor and if I was to come over to let's say this toolbar here and if I was to click on this is the lasso selection tool I'm going to click on that tool and what you'll see is that it opens up the online manual and it automatically pre-selects the lasso selection tool and tells us how to use that tool in a text form so that can be a very helpful thing to have especially when you're first learning anyway once you do it, it it goes away so I could do it again if I wanted to turn it once you turn it on you use it once and it's turned off until the next time you want to use that tool now we have some editing and alignment tools for align left center right top alignment center horizontally um, align bottom 
and some spacing tools to help you make things have the same width or the same height or the same amount of space in between them. And then over to the right, we have the ability to switch between the draw mode and the stitch mode. So there's two different modes that we'll use in the Creative Drawing software. Now over on the left, we have perhaps the most commonly used tools in the software. And I'll just go through and name them all. The first one is the rectangular selection tool. Now we've got a lasso selection tool. We've got an edit shape tool, zoom in tool, panning measurement tool. This is for adding directions to your fills. This would be for dividing things. We have a slow redraw tool which can be very helpful in checking and learning how your designs sew out. Now below that we have two tools that are used for creating embroidery objects and what I want to show you right now is any time that we have a tool that has a small triangle right at the bottom, if you look very closely you can see that little triangle. If I click on the tool and hold it flies open and I can see that there's more tool options available so this is the create freehand tool or the create bezier shape tool or the create outline shape tool and same thing below with the sort of create shapes tool um, if I fly that one open I've got a circle pie shape square rectangle um, trapezoid parallelogram this is for polygons and create star shapes now whatever shape you choose. If I wanted to, I could create a star right now. I'll just left click and drag and then when I let go, you'll see that it automatically fills that shape in with thread. And so now I can see that I've created a new embroidery object by just simply clicking on a tool. And below that I have a text tool for adding and editing my embroidery uh, designs to have lettering. Then we have a, an array tool for creating specialized layouts. Below that we have an auto border tool and the auto border tool can be used to add outlines or duplicate parts of our design. And then below that we have an auto sequence control tool and this is going to be very helpful for using the sequence manager which is found here inside of the workspace. We have a sequence manager and it's currently displaying the entire design in one tray and we'll learn about using the sequence manager to control the sewing sequence of our embroidery designs. Now down at the bottom we have the color palette and these are all the colors that have been set up for use with this embroidery design and we have the ability to edit the color palette to be specifically the colors that you want to use and the specific thread brand that you like to use. Um, you'll also be able to customize all of the toolbars um, and look and feel of your workspace to get um, it's just the most comfortable feel I guess and use out of the drawings workspace. Now down at the bottom here, this, this bar here are the colors that have been used in this embroidery design. And so I can see that there's been five different colors used in the creation of this embroidery design. And down at the very bottom, there's an information bar. And this will often tell you um, things like the number of items, the size, the number of colors, and the number of stitches for your um, design. It'll also tell you how to use tools when you click on a tool. It'll tell you how to use them or the names of the tools. So this is an information bar that you can look to for information about your design. Now, over on the right hand side, we have our properties, our object properties. And so for example, I'm just going to choose my selection tool. I'm going to click on that star that we created and show you that these are the object properties for this star. And one thing I'd like to highlight right now is I've selected the star. You can see it's been selected by this box that shows around it. Down at the bottom, I can see that the star is set to have a fill in yellow and an outline in blue. And so if I wanted to, I could maybe zoom in a little bit closer here and see if we can, and then I'll click off the object. And you can see here, it's got a yellow fill with a blue outline. And so when I click on the object to select it, that's what comes up over here in the object properties. These are the outline settings. I can see it's set for a, a running stitch outline. And if I click on the tab for fill, it shows me that it's set for a step stitch for the fill. And so that's our ability to control and edit the types of stitches of the embroidery objects from the object properties. So that's a general overview of the object properties and 
different tools and features for the Creative Drawings workspace. And now what I'm going to do, oh wait, one more thing I wanted to show before I went to the, I'm going to, next I'm going to move over and show you how to use an overview of the um, Wings modular software. But one last thing I realized I'm forgetting was, you can see here that the design I'm looking at now is number four, and it's a draw file. But I also have another design on my screen, and it's this design here. And so the point is, you can open up multiple designs at one time and that's what this little tab bar would be for where you'll be able to switch between the different designs that you're currently working on. So that'll conclude the overview of the Creative Drawings workspace and now we'll take a look at the Wings Modular workspace. In this segment I'm going to give an overview of the workspace for the Wings Modular software. So again we'll just take a closer look at the software and I'll start by just looking at the drop-down menus to show you the different types of features that are found underneath the drop-down menus and once again you'll see that most of the features in the drop-down menus are also um, shown in the toolbars on the program as well. So I'll just kind of go through and overview the different things that you see on your workspace. Here up at the top you've got a lot of those same um, new and open um, read this is uh, this software is the basic module for a piece of commercial embroidery software and so some of the things here may not completely apply to a user in the domestic world for example this is for reading from an embroidery f a machine floppy diskette and this is for um, saving the design to a network or a hard drive this is for saving the design or writing it onto a floppy diskette so for anybody that's using a commercial a Baradin or Tajima embroidery machine these are functions that you might use but for people that are using domestic embroidery machines like Janome then not all of these features are going to always apply in this case but um, the Wings modular has a lot of different things that are very helpful and so it's a very excellent complement to the creative drawings which is where we'll do probably the majority of our creating and editing and layout so here we have the print option cut copy and paste undo redo this is again a zoom option now here we have um, a unselect this is says select all this says unselect and this says invert selection and again remember I'll be showing how to use all of these different tools this is going to be for show objects and hide objects these tools are for traveling through your design so that you can see the elements of the design so you've got you know, go to the beginning and previous or next. Now these here are some of the different ways that you can view your design. So we've got show marks, show stitch marks, we've got show up to my cursor, and we've got show filled outlines. And again, I'll have to demonstrate using all these, but perhaps I could give you an example of show stitch marks. So if I turn this on, and then if I look closely, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and see if I get really close you can see what I turned on I'll just turn them off here I turned on the stitch marks and it actually gives me a very defined needle penetration everywhere that there's a stitch mark and so that can be something that um, makes remember I'd said earlier that the wings modular has a lot to do with working with individual or stitch based designs versus the creative drawings where we do you we use artwork and we create embroidery designs so that's the real fundamental difference anyway we I'm just continuing along the toolbar we have the slow redraw option and this is a um, information option it's more like the design information just general settings about your design on the left oh sorry just below that there's another toolbar and this is where you can your color manager where you can control the colors of your design and this is showing me the colors that have been used in this design um, then we have the ability to insert commands into our design whether that be a trim or a stop uh, again some of these may not apply to our case like um, needle up or frame out or a sequin command but these are functions that are included in the software for a variety of different uses and different types of users applique, um, low speed, and adding borers. So and then on the left we have a toolbar that has select or transform, edit nodes, edit stitches, so these are different ways that we can use the program. We've got to split objects, 
we've got a zoom in tool you can adjust the density of an object you can modify the satin width you can use a filter to filter small stitches and you have the ability to reverse the sewing sequence of the object that you select and I'll be showing you all of these different things later on in the video now, once again down at the bottom you've got an information bar that you can look to for information about your design and over on the right you've got a sequence manager and you'll notice on the sequence manager down at the bottom I have tabs so we have a sequence tab there's also a transformation tab and an object properties tab so these are the different things that you find in the overview of the wings modular software and now what I'm gonna do is just prepare to talk a little bit more about the different types of embroidery formats that are used with the artistic sewing suite package okay in this segment we're gonna take a look at embroidery formats and artwork formats and just talk a little bit about the different types of files that you'll be making opening and saving using the different software in the artistic sewing suite so first of all I'm gonna talk about wings modular and right now I have this design that's opened on my screen and <clears throat> perhaps what I'll do is just start by showing you if I drop down the menu file and choose open uh, an open dialog shows and I could do several things here you can browse the folders of your computer it tells me that I'm currently looking in the folder for modular 5 samples so these are some images or designs that came with the program and I can see here that it says it's looking for n.ngs and .ngs um, is the main sort of stitch format that's used with Wings Modular but that said if I was to click on this drop down menu right now you'll see here that there are many different embroidery formats that I can open not just the wings.ngs format I could open up a Tajima DST file or any number of different domestic embroidery machines from Janome to Brother or Bernina and um, scrolling all the way down the list even uh, other commercial embroidery formats like Melko or Baird and so it really has a lot of different options for what formats you can open using the software now um, if I click on a format on a file that's in my folder that I'm looking at it shows me a preview of the file and gives me some information about the file now I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this I didn't want to open something right now but I was going to show you that I also if I choose file and save as I'm presented with a very similar type of um, dialogue and in this case it's what do you want to save the format as and so if I click on the list again I can see that there's just as many options to save to whether it be saving for commercial embroidery machines like Tajima or Melko or Baradin or Toyota or saving it for the domestic embroidery machines like Janome or Singer or Faf so really we can open and save any type of stitch based format using the Wings modular software now what I want to do is just pop up Creative Drawings and show the difference because remember I'd said Creative Drawings is an art based program where you're going to be um, you can import artwork and then automatically convert that into embroidery and so if I choose open under the Wings um, Creative Drawings program then I get a similar kind of a window where it says um, you know look in this folder of my computer and but now I can see right away that the types of files that it wants to open if I click on that drop down list there's only one it's just dot d r a w draw dot draw format and dot draw format becomes and I can go ahead and click on a design and say open and it opens up another design onto our screen so now I have three tabs uh, available on my screen right now to look at now so the when you create an embroidery design your main format that you create is the dot draw but you don't have to um, you can save this design and you can also send it over to the wings modular to do um, some other sort of additional editing to it after you've worked at it in here uh, but you can if I choose file and save as we have the ability to save it as a draw file or we could right now immediately convert it into a stitch file so the important thing to remember is if you create an embroidery design save it as a draw format first keep that format and then when you're ready to stitch it out open up your draw file and then you can convert it to Janome Jeff or any other embroidery format that you may want to sew so the main thing is that the default um, format for creative drawings is the draw file 
and then you can save as any number of stitch based files but the draw file is important in creative drawings because that's the object based file that we're going to use from we we create our embroidery objects and we modify them and then choosing save as generally converts those objects into stitches and it kind of it doesn't ha it no longer has stitch files no longer have that important outline format so um, that's a little bit of information about that and I'll, I'll talk about that more and as we go through the tutorials you'll see how I do that. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show so that's embroidery formats opening and saving um, but with this creative drawings we also have the ability to bring in the artwork and the way you would do that would be by starting a new design and when I say new and I'm going to be going through this several times um, during the process of the video you're, you get this um, dialog box and the options are so I'm starting a new design do I want to start it from a file which means do you want to start it from a piece of artwork do you want to start it from an embroidery design or do you want to get an image from your scanner or do you want to get an image from your webcam or do you just want to start a new blank graphic if I said new graphic and started said go it would open up a design and it would just be blank I can also choose what hoop I want to have predefined on my on my uh, desktop when I start so if you knew you wanted to start with your SQ hoop and you wanted to create we won't choose new graphic I'm gonna start with this is where you if you were had artwork an image this is where you would choose it so I'll say from a file and then when I click on this button here it allows me to select a file so I'm gonna click on that and again I get the an open box and I'll just make sure it fits on my screen now this is where I can see first of all it's defaulted to the CMX format but if I wanted to I could click it's actually setting set to all supported formats and these are again these are images that came with the software so we all should have the same images available to us for you know tutorials and demonstrations I'm just gonna pop up the drop down menu so we can highlight specifically the art formats that Creative Sewing Suite is able to so Creative Drawings can open Adobe Illustrator files Corel graphics AutoCAD um, EPS format EMF format SVG format um, dot PLT format bitmap BMP uh, JPEG GIF, um, Windows Media, WMF, TIF, PNG, and ICO. So these are the different formats. I'm not 100% familiar with all of these formats, but the great news is there's a large amount of options available to us. And what's really great is a lot of these are actual vector-based images like the, the CMX files that we see here they easily convert into embroidery because they're vector based files and we'll we'll be talking more about that in a minute but I really just wanted to focus in this segment about what are the different formats that are available for us to use so just a quick recap when you're working in creative drawings your main format's going to be the .draw format and then you can save it to any number of stitch based formats and when you work in the wings modular you have the ability to open save and edit stitches from almost any embroidery stitch based format that there is and then back again in the creative drawings this is where you're going to work with artwork images and pretty much all the types of image formats whether it be jpeg bitmap tiff um, sort of raster images or the vectorized images like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw files that you can open up and convert into embroidery. So, yeah, hopefully that uh, provides a little bit of clarity. And as we go through the tutorials, you'll learn more about the different formats, especially the Art Breaks formats. Okay, so now I'm going to prepare for the next segment about how to find the designs that are included with the software. Okay, I've got one more segment that I want to record to include with the introduction to the Artistic Sewing Suite. And that's how to find the embroidery designs and artwork files that have come with your software. The stuff that was on the installation CD and some of it has been pre-installed in your computer and some of it's actually still on the CD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer and Windows Explorer is basically just a program that comes with Windows that allows you to browse the contents of your computer and it just allows me to easily show you where this folder is now the first thing is um, on the left hand side here you can see there's my desktop and then I have the user of my computer named Trevor 
and the different folders that comes with that and down underneath that I found a folder called public and inside of my public folder there was another folder that was called my public documents so I'm just gonna look at that folder public documents inside of my public documents folder there's a folder for creative drawing samples and there's another folder for the modular 5 samples those two folders were pre-installed with the software when I installed it and these are where all the samples that you'll um, want to look for are um, but there was one more folder that's very important it was actually still on the CD it wasn't actually installed to my hard drive and it's called designs and I guess you've got the option of either just pulling the designs from your CD anytime you want them or what I did was just simply chose to install that designs folder here into the same place as the rest of it so basically what I did was just browsed through uh, my computer to my C drive of my computer and then <clears throat> I found the folder on the computer and I simply dragged that folder over and saved it into this public documents folder so that's where my files are stored is under public documents and now there's several folders there so like I said you've got the two that are the samples that come with the software and then this third folder for design so let's take a look if I go to the creative drawing samples um, you can see here that I have different types of files I have draw files and I have artwork files that are in the CMX format and I'm viewing these um, my Windows Explorer is set to view with large icons you can change it to medium icons if you want to or you can go to a, a details view and when you do it just gives you different ways of looking at the same um, icons of what's involved in these folders so and then again the CMX files those are artwork files that you could use to create an embroidery design from um, down further down the list there's quite a list of them obviously there's I don't know hundreds it looks like um, yeah there's 409 items just in this folder alone down below I, f I saw there were some NGS files so these are going to be embroidery designs that are already um, been pre-designed so those are all under the creative drawing samples and there was actually a folder up at the top here for cutting samples and inside of this folder there's draw files and vector designs and again all sorts of more artwork that you can use for creating embroidery from now also under that public documents folder was the modular 5 samples the wings samples so there's a few more stitch files in there um, but the big folder that you should really look at is under the public documents is this one called designs and in here um, there's all these different folders that are available and each one of these folders has even more designs and folders so I think I'm, I didn't count but I, th I think I heard there was more than several thousand designs available in these folders so I'll just go ahead and look in one of them um, so just selecting the folder called number one I've got angels and Australia and baby angels and so these are all the different embroidery designs that you can find now if I go ahead and just get rid of Windows Explorer coming back to the wings modular so if here if we say file and open then we can browse through just like anything through the folders to our down to public public documents and then I have the ability to choose whether it be the modular five samples to open up a draft or whatever or we could go back up and choose the designs folder and look underneath these different folders finding the angel designs and whatever it is um, there's many different embroidery designs that came with the embroidery software and that's a little bit about how to find them so hopefully it's same for you um, and straightforward and easy to find them but I found them installed installed on my computer under public documents and of course the several thousand designs that were in the designs folder left on the CD so okay that concludes the introduction to the artistic sewing suite and the next segment that I'm going to prepare is going to be a quick start to using the software where we'll really get started creating and modifying embroidery designs.